Yun who saw Jiam's actions was shocked. While their feud was going on, suddenly the instructor told them that break time was over. Seeing what Jiam did, he immediately became angry and told him to let go, they all ended up leaving, but for them this incident was quite enjoyable. Yun looked still angry about what Jiam did to him. They both continued their work. Back into the holding cell. It looked like they were arguing about something. After debating, they finally decided to carry out religious activities. But Ju Yong and Jiam were seen just sitting, not following them. He kept thinking about something. At the same time, Ju Yong thanked him. He thanked Jiam, because at that time he had stopped Ju Yong from doing this, otherwise his sentence could have been extended. Jiam was a little confused. Why was he suddenly talking about something like that? Ju Yong also revealed that he wanted to get out of here. Someone who defeat his friend. He wanted to meet his father as soon as possible. But Ju Yong once told him that his father was not well at the moment, and now for Ju Yong this situation has changed. He also thanked Jiam again, because there was still hope of getting out of here quickly. He was just silent hearing Ju Yong's words. According to Jiam, Ju Yong is mocking him, because currently his prison sentence is 20 years, but Ju Yong doesn't mean that. What is certain that Ju Yong will pay for what happened at that time to him? Jiam finally understands this. In a workroom, Jiam receives the key from someone. The instructions gave him a key, because right now he had to go and have an urgent problem at home. He ordered Jiam to clean this room. In front of him now there is work that needs to be done. But he was little thinking about something. When he saw the hammer, a bad memory always flashed in his mind. Bad memory of what Yoon and the hammer did. He always remembered that bad thing throughout his life. He also remember his childhood. Memories with Yoon when they were still children. Beautiful memories with childhood friends between Jiam and Yoon. It looks like they were good friends at that time and played together. But since he was a teenager, Yoon experienced intimidation from his classmates because behavior makes them strange. Yoon's strange behavior, because he collects insects. They mocked him because he might eat it during break time, but he denied this, and for them it was disgusting. They continued to mock Yoon at that time, but a student watched from afar. It turns out he is Jiam, he tells them to stop doing that. Currently Jiam is the class president, so they obey his words. They immediately left there, and apologized to Jiam for this. He approached Yoon and asked about his condition, then he looked fine. After that, Yoon invited Jiam to his house to play. But suddenly another student invited Jiam to play a new game together. Finally, Jiam who was then class president, complied with their request to play together, leaving Yoon alone. But at that time he was actually very worried about Yoon. Yoon was alone and had no friends apart from Jiam. The next year he was a teenager, still at the same school but in a different class. At that time, Jiam heard their conversation about Yoon. Rumors say that Yoon is being bullied. Then he was shocked when someone said that Yoon had been taken to the warehouse. When Jiam heard that, without thinking, he immediately went to Yoon to go the warehouse. He kept running until he was tired. Finally he made it to the warehouse and feeling tired, then immediately opened the door. When he opened the warehouse door, he saw many students already in the room. It seemed like they had been waiting for Jiam to arrive there. Suddenly he heard a voice that made him shocked, and he seemed to recognize the voice. It turns out Yoon was the one who made the voice, can see he was behind Jiam and started to greet him. While he was behind, suddenly he immediately pushed Jiam's body into the warehouse. He was shocked by the action Yoon did to him. At that time, Jiam didn't understand and was confused by Yoon's actions in doing this to him. After successfully putting him into the warehouse, Yoon immediately locked the warehouse door. It looks like this is the plan of the delinquent students, they made a plan to trap Jiam with Yoon as the bait. They did that because this was a condition for Yoon to join their fam, so Yoon had to do what the delinquent student said. The path he had taken had deviated, it could be seen that he was also enjoying this game. While inside, Jiam hears Yoon's words about insects. Saying that now he would peel the insect, and Yoon started to take out a hammer. The past was very scary, even when the cocoon had become a butterfly, it did not completely fly freely but could encounter obstacles. 
Looks like someone is already in front of Jayam. This butterfly situation is the same as himself, an obstacle that can't make it fly high. Then it all happened because of Jayam's actions, it turned out that Yoon was already in front of him. But there Jayam doesn't understand the unreasonable words about him. Yoon started to explain, at that time Jayam only pretended to be nice to him, and slowly moved away from him because Jayam already had lots of friends. Yoon knows all that, at that time Jayam had become a butterfly who could fly high without obstacles. Until in the end he thought, it was absolutely impossible for him to become a butterfly that could fly high like him. Yoon also blames Jayam for him becoming like this. Yoon was the only one experiencing crushing down, hearing this he was shocked. Until then he heard that Jayam had defeat seven people. According to Yoon, this incident was karma for him. But at the same time, Jayam was furious when he heard the words that came out of Yoon's mouth. He started to return what he said, that because of Yoon's actions, Jayam ended up here. The action he did to him in the past, made Jayam end up here. Yoon is happy to hear that, because he has succeeded in ruining Jayam's life. But suddenly Yoon's people were there, and immediately cornered Jayam. They gave appreciation to Yoon because at that time he had by off instructor Misu, even Jayam who heard this immediately shocked. It looks like he has other plans after this. Yoon started to talk about insects. About the insect he was going to peel, a locker was seen in front of Jayam, it seemed like the incident like before would happen again. Jayam was shocked when there was a locker in front of him, as if he already knew what would happen. He began to try break loose himself from the incident. Yoon is really looking forward to something like this happening again. He started putting Jayam into the locker. And starts locking it from the outside, while blaming Jayam for his past actions, which made Yoon who he is now. From inside he continued to break the locker, and said to Yoon, why did he do this to him? For Yoon, this is a gift for him. It looks like there are insect on Jayam's feet. It turned out that there were lots of insects in the locker. They were looking forward to the screams that would come out of Jayam at the locker. Yoon really enjoyed this game, and wanted to know what happened immediately. But he was confused because there was still no herd of Jayam screaming from inside the locker. It looks like Jayam is holding back the scream. They praised him a little for holding that. This man began to ask Yoon that he should apologize after this, because in fact Jayam was a cruel man. But he did not listen to what the man said, because it was of nonsense, according to him, Yoon has gone very crazy. But for him this was not much, because he still had other plan. A plan that would definitely make him scream out loud. Suddenly someone came to that place. Turns out it was Ju Yong, asking them what was doing here. They were shocked and confused by what Ju Yong was doing here. He then asked them again how to make him scream. Suddenly, without thinking, Ju Yong immediately started his action against one of them. But this man tried to attack Ju Yong with his punches. The man was hit by a strong kick right in the face. Ju Yong's kick was so strong that it sent the man flying into the locker. Those who saw Ju Yong's action just remained silent in shock. The locker door was slightly damaged because of this, then Jiam started peeking out of it. When he looked, it turned out that it was Ju Yong's doing, and he came here to pay a debt. Repaying the debt of the past, and now he will beat this guy for Jiam.